Hey YouTube, this is Applicable Dave again, coming back with another unboxing and overview. Uh, this time it's going to be for the Rapsol uh, Ultra Drop and Scratch Protection Film. And this model is for the iPhone 4. If you check out the website, which is uh, uh, Rapsol.com, you're able to find uh, the different models too for the Evo 4G, Droid X, and other ones. If you uh, uh, like to purchase this, you can go to the website and Retail price is around $29.95, and of course that varies, um, but you can also uh, find it at an authorized re uh, reseller. Uh, I personally picked this one up at my local Walmart for around $20, so you probably have a better deal with that. And let's just look at the box and what we uh, see here. It has a front and back film. Um, that's uh, important too, especially for the iPhone 4, having glass on both sides. And you, uh, it's uh, repositionable. You're able to uh, reposition the film and just in case you mess up or if you catch yourself with a lot of bubbles between the film and the phone. And enhances grip, shock absorbing. And let's look at the back. It says, Ultra Drop and Scratch Protection helps protect from damage, and wear and tear, optical uh, optically clear uh, custom cut films and you as you can see this is the back part of the phone and as well as the sides and you and uh, this will probably help uh, those those of you who are having problems with the uh, antenna issues and so hopefully that'll help out with that if you look at the picture it actually has a cutout uh, it ends right above the, uh, the line and it continues under the line and it goes on and uh, looking back at the back uh, what's included in the box is the custom cut films, obviously, uh, microfiber towelette, a spongy, instructions, and also lifetime warranty. Just looking at the, uh, uh, the side, it was pretty interesting that I found. It's comparison chart between the Rapsol Ultra and ordinary films. According to this, uh, 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 protection coverage, uh, the Rapsol is pretty uh, 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 able to protect the front and the back while as the other ordinary films only protect the front. Application process, it must be dry in order for you to be able to apply it as opposed to ordinary films where it can be wet and dry. Uh, repositionable, you're able to, like as we talked about earlier, it's, you can easily reposition it as do other ones, you are not able to do it. Enhances grip and, and also shock, shock absorbent. And so I guess that's it for what we see on the box. Let's go ahead and open this baby up and see what we have. And here we have it. The box is empty. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. And we have the clear plastic film we also we see the front and the back and also the sides in correspondence to where it's supposed to go to and as it looks here the bottom is going to be completely exposed well actually I believe these will be able to uh, overlap right nicely in the bottom okay so looking else what we have we have the towelette cool sauce made by Rapsol are and this is the spongy will probably be a good help and I'm not quite sure what this was So we have the instructions here. Rapsol, uh, Rapsol repositionable film for the iPhone 4. And as you can see here, it has all the instructions and e where each part goes to. And I do believe it wraps around, like I said earlier, the size which would wrap around the bottom. And uh, we have a cleaning device. It shows you how to do it. And uh, 
These are just instructions as to the process of applying it. So nothing really, okay, nothing there. That's pretty much it. Let, let me go ahead and uh, try to apply this. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off because uh, I'll have a hard time applying, especially if I wanna make sure that the bubbles are uh, almost non-existent. Gotta make sure that I do this correctly. So I'll, I'll pause this and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. And I'm back. Um, I've successfully installed the front and the back and let's go ahead and look at the back and I do apologize about the smudges I just didn't have time to clean it up um, and I'll explain why uh, the, the back fit perfectly everything was good even though I did catch some bubbles in there I didn't do a too good job of it but the film is a very well clear of the camera and the flash so that fit perfectly unfortunately the front as you can see here um, it matches perfectly right down here it's almost a, a perfect as I tried to apply it but when it comes to the front and again there's a lot of bubbles in here but just before I uh, the reason why I, went, I didn't get a chance to clean it up because I wanted to show you how uh, how bad the uh, the positioning really is because as you can see here it's uh, perfect everything's perfect until you get over here the uh, the edge of the film is covering uh, par uh, part of the camera as well as a speaker and uh, there's, there's a big gap there. And I don't think I did it wrong because of this right here, but unfortunately, it did not fit well. So we're back, and after I reinstalled the film, after a lot of uh, bubbles, a lot of smudges, a lot of fingerprints, a lot of time, um, as you can see here, it, it lines up perfectly, but when you come down here, um, it overlaps the home button. So every time I press it, it's uncomfortable. It's not something I want. And as you can see, there's now there's a lot of smudges and a lot of fingerprints. Obviously, that's my fault, but it wouldn't have, have happened if I had, hadn't had to reinstall the film. So do I recommend this? I do not. <clears throat> I think it's a waste of time. I think it's a waste of money. Uh, and um, I certainly hope that you don't invest in uh, something like this. Uh, I never had a hard time installing a, a, a film for the phone, but this is what I got. So. That's it for the uh, unboxing and uh, overview and a little bit of review. Um, again, I do not recommend this and I sure hope you don't invest in it either. Thank you.